they can take it off the wall. Folks is watching. That great power of witnesses, they're all watching. You say you're holy, you're going to have to live holy. They, you say you're in the church, they want to make sure that you're in the church. If you make a mistake, they're right there to see you. So that's what we have to educate ourselves. We have to go to the Word, read the Word. Sometimes it's confusing. You don't stop there. So I don't understand this. Read a little further. It will clear itself up. As long as you read the Bible, God will open it up for you. You will get understanding what you didn't think you could possibly have an understanding. See, the devil tries to confuse you, but we are a people of a sound mind. We're not easily confused. So we go to the Word, we learn the Word, and we act on it accordingly. We say, Lord, here I am. I know there's folks out there that are watching me, but I want to be your servant. Anything you tell me to do, I'm going to do it. So Lord, send me. Here I am. But make sure when you ask God to send you, make sure you are ready. Don't let nothing can be done. Run the race with patience and understanding. Know who God is, right. and most of all, know who you are. You are holy. All right. Anointed and appointed by God. Yes. And you let the devil know, I'm just not going to accept anything you send my way. Slay the laws. Slay the laws. In Jesus' name. And we're going to thank you. Someone may be sick in their body, came here not feeling the best. But thank you for your healing power. For you were wounded by our transgressions. Jesus, the righteous, was bruised by our iniquities. The chest time of our peace was the body. And by his stripes, we are healed right now. Come on, somebody shout, I am healed. Come on, somebody shout, I am healed. Come on, just cut me. 
He saved me. He gave me grace. He saved me. 